Oh my god! What the fuck? TikTok drama this video is sponsored far. by TikTok bully drama that happened this past week on the Astros Case baseball five. game. More on that later. In Boston, from a bathroom uh, at the House of Blues in Boston, Massachusetts. And there's so much noise going around in the whole building that I decided to uh, record from the bathroom. But it's like weirdly quiet in here. Like I don't feel like I can talk at my full volume. Hey everybody, it's me, Nick. I'm in Canada. I've been playing drums on tour because I thought it'd be fun, and it is, but it's very hard to get work done and, and shoot videos. There were so many stories last week that I wanted to cover. I was gonna cover Tucker Carlson and Don Lemon getting fired from Fox News and CNN, respectively. I wanted to cover uh, the insane Steven Crowder story where his wife wants to divorce him, and he put out this really like weird response, and then this video. Yeah, oh, okay. Shouts out to Nick for reminding me this just now. But, like, you know what was really fucking weird about the Steven Crowder saga? The thinly veiled threats where he was basically saying, I'm going to leak your, like, you know, uh, psychiatric disorder. Which kind of... Which was, like... Like, we didn't really... We, everybody focused on the video, so, like, no one really paid attention to that. I briefly alluded to it. But it hasn't left my mind since I saw it. You know what I mean? Like, I've been, I've been thinking about that nonstop. He did a motion picture trailer for her dirty public facing divorce. Yeah. You a fed? What does that even mean? bro? Do you know what you are saying? Do you know what words mean? You a fed? What are you talking about, dude? Where are these motherfuckers coming from? I'm sick and tired of white 14 year olds from Naperville come into this fucking chat and, and writing like you ain't sly for Vaughn. You a fed shut the fuck up, bitch. I will fucking literally tell your principal. Okay. I will tell your mommy and your daddy. You will be grounded. Okay. Listen up. Bartholomew. Tyler, you will not get the, Three series Beamer that you were going to get for your Sweet 16 if you keep this shit up. Okay? You're, you're grounded. You can only use the iPad. No more iPhone for you for at least a month. If your mommy finds out what you've been saying online. Okay? Video came out of him like berating his pregnant wife. All the Twitter blue stuff that's going on with Elon Musk and the replies to tweets and the people who are paying for Twitter blue getting blocked. Rage is live talking about you, so Chad's gonna get an influx? Wait, why? What the fuck is Rage talking about? I mean, there's so much drama since I left that I, I can't even keep up with it because I'm too tired to do any of it. But I found some drama today that was interesting enough for me to sit down right now and just figure it out as I go. I love covering news stories, especially ones that are goofy and odd and come from like a weird corner of the internet. So if you want to give me suggestions, email nickisnotgreenmerch at gmail.com and let me know what you want me to cover so you can, you know, hear me talk about it with my mouth. So the video that starts all this drama off is from this TikToker who posted this video about uh, her taking pictures of herself at a baseball game. Watch my confidence disappear after oh, these rips. Oh, this shit was crazy. What a great video, uh, immediately. Dude, dude, people are fucking ruthless. Rage chat is cool normally. Yeah, no, 100%. Uh, Rage and I uh, share community members. Uh, Rage is chill. I don't know why the fuck anyone from Rage's community will come here and be like, yo, fuck you. The only thing that uh, we're not cool on is that Rage is ducking me, which is fine. I mean, he's afraid, okay? It's fine. He is afraid of getting crossed up. He's afraid of getting posted up. And that's it. That's, I want you to just, I don't know. I want you to, I want that to stick for you to just remember that. They are trying to paint you as a snitch with the Aiden vid watch from two weeks ago or so ago. Wait, Aiden vid from two weeks or so ago. What do you mean? What a snitch for what? Like fucking defending uh, other content creators and myself from Aiden's uh, ridiculous behavior. Like I, I would have, what the fuck? The DDG video where he called him Adam, like, who cares? Wait, what? Wait, how would that be snitching? What the fuck does that even mean? 
Oh my God. These people are such, these, it's just such a pathetic fucking desperate attempt to be like, no, 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 please. My content creator is infallible. My content creator is infallible. Like, oh yeah, it's Hassan who's the who's at fault here. Why the fuck would I ever snitch on anyone like that? You said it was Aiden, not Adam, stupid shit. Yeah, to my fucking chat because I'm describing the context of a situation. That doesn't mean anything. I've literally watched Aiden Ross videos all fucking stream, dude. They're calling you a smidge for the DDG. Aiden call where you said Aiden was on the line. Yeah, what do you mean? DDG took offense and called you a snitch. Oh, whatever, dude. Suck my dick. Whatever. We'll be fine like next week. The fuck? It's like I needed like uh, I needed like literally a a, a fucking actual. Uh, I needed someone to like literally describe to me what it was because I was like didn't even fucking understand. Random girls make fun of me for taking pics. Was this necessary? Criminally offensive side eye starts recording me. Yeah, it's cringe. You packed up Aiden, so they moved on to this lol. Yeah, don't be fucking delusional. Like, don't be silly. Yeah, no one would have known it was Aiden <laughs> if I didn't describe it to my chat contextually as to why he's saying Adam in the video. So obviously what you guys are seeing is a uh, influencer or person propping up their camera at a baseball game, taking selfies of themselves for uh, social media. And then you see people behind her, um, like kind of goofing around and making fun of her for recording herself because like they were in being the mean, of they were being mean. They were, those girls were being mean to her, but also she's in the wrong as well. This is literally the case with every fucking TikTok video I've ever watched where like literally every single person involved with it is like to varying degrees in the wrong but like one side is clearly more in the wrong than the other side the girls making fun of her probably not even as in the wrong as the girl who is taking a selfie in public yeah if you take a fucking selfie in public then yeah you're gonna get clowned on it's a perfectly perfectly appropriate thing to make fun of okay i say this as a content creator i'm i'm always you know filming shit outside people clown on me for that too it's like, yeah, it's, it's, it's fine. You know what I mean? It, it's okay. It's going to happen. Wrong? What? What? Wait. What, what do you mean? You are very wrong, bro. What a bad take. What? It's asshole behavior. Yeah, it is asshole behavior. You know what else is asshole behavior? Like trying to fucking post up and take selfies at a fucking baseball game like that. You know what I mean? Like they're being, they're fucking bullying. I mean, they're bullying her. I don't understand this take. They're not bullying her for whatever fucking personal reason that you have, uh, have trauma over. Like those are mean girls and they're bullying her and she's just like me. No, they're bullying her because she's taking a fucking video in public. It's a photo bomb. It happens all the fucking time. You guys are not looking at the situation like that. You're looking at the situation as though they're bullying her in the same way that you got fucking bullied, okay? If you take a selfie or a video, if you take a selfie or a video in public, people behind you are going to fuck with you, okay? Like, that's it. Taking a selfie doesn't harm anyone. What do you mean? You're like publicly blasting people behind you for your t massive TikTok page, which by the way, in the end of this video and the end of the story, I will tell you exactly why it is literally more harmful for a fucking TikTok content creator to unironically post a selfie video of herself because those uh, uh, girls behind her got fucking docs. There you go. Spoiler alert. Sorry. You made me do it to you. Okay. You couldn't let me finish the fucking story, but that's what happened. So many upset Zoomers in the chat. How are you going to be mad? Your props are behaving poorly. My props? Yeah, oh, 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 yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like you're, you're treating people like they're props in the background, which is not something that people consented to. You know what I mean? They can behave. They can behave. If she were a Twitch streamer friend, you would have a different opinion. No, I would probably have the same opinion. And my Twitch streamer friends do actually do shit in public. And sometimes they get photobombed, except like they don't fucking go... And go, oh man, this is like ruined my life. It's, it made me feel so fucking bad.
Anyway, let's watch the original TikTok video and we'll, we'll cover of her it further. photos and video. The video Jackie posted was obviously meant to talk about the fact that she was upset with these people who made fun of her while she was taking photos. But let's watch the rest of it and see what the accusations are. Would they get doxxed if they didn't act like vile, act like shitheads? Bro, you are literally a fucking freakazoid. If you think that like doxing is a penalty that you think is even remotely appropriate for behaving like a dickhead in the background of a fucking selfie. Oh my God. What the fuck? Oh, we should kill people that are fucking around is not the fucking take that you should be having in this situation. Holy fuck. Like... What has happened? To, to, what has happened to people? What is going on? Point to where I said it was okay. Well, you made it. You're implying that like they would, they should, if there's a camera around you, okay? If there's a camera around you and someone wants to make a TikTok and you're in the fucking background, by the way, I'm the content creator here and I'm literally defending the random people and you dumb motherfuckers who aren't content creators are literally defending the content creator. What the fuck is going on right now? This is way more likely to happen to you than me, dumbass. You know that, right? You're a normal guy. You don't want to fucking lose your job. You don't want your fucking family harassed because you accidentally appeared to be weird in the background of a fucking TikTok creator's video. Are you joking? Are you joking right now? What is happening? Oh my God. Have some fucking decency and class solidarity. <laughs> Maybe you're wrong then. No, I'm not. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, she messed up my TikTok that I was trying to fucking film. Killed him! <laughs> no, what is happening? <laughs> what the fuck? Yo! What? I did not realize people had such fucking strong opinions on this shit. Telling her bestie it. I can This is the insane conclusion of what happened to West Elm Caleb. We go from a dude who ghosts one night stands to some girls in the back being a bit rude, doxed and life threatening. <laughs> they wouldn't have been doxed if they behaved well. Like they're supposed to. Like they know how they're supposed to behave behind in the background of a fucking TikTok. Know your fucking place! literally hear the whole combo <laughs> realizing they are talking about me feeling super self-conscious I wanted to cry so this video blew up it got 8.2 million likes and it has 49.7 million views and from this video you can already see people start to take sides the comments are off on this specific video but from what I can gather a lot of people no we need like I don't think we need like a calling but I every day every time there's a new TikTok drama god I think I hate you for bringing this up oh my god Every time I see a new TikTok drama, I'm like, maybe conservatives are not wrong about, like, you know, young men and women dying in a war, okay? Like, like we need, we need busy work. We need busy work because we're, like, doing this instead. Like, I, I don't know what's going on. Like, maybe society was better when people were dying at the age of, like, 15 because they got gangrene, you know what I mean? Like, what the fuck is happening? What is happening? Conservative Asana is coming out and it's not fun. Be I don't even think this is a conservative take. Like, I think it's insane to, like, literally go after those people and, like, dox them and shit because they were, like, behaving in a childlike manner behind uh, a, a, a TikToker who was filming themselves in public trying to do a TikTok. Nobody said it was okay to dox them? Then don't post it. People who are content creators need to fucking people who are content creators need to be like a little bit more understanding, especially on TikTok of like what they're fucking presenting to the outside world. Because like, yeah, that gives you a lot of clout, but you're like ruining people's fucking lives. Like you're, you're traumatizing people. I'll, I'll admit it. Okay. It is a traumatizing experience. All matter of safety and security gone out the fucking window. You're done. Like you have, you will maybe never be the same again. Okay. Especially if you're a fucking normie. Are you joking? People were on the girl who's taking the picture side 
because, you know, people don't like bullies that much. People were upset that these girls were, were making fun of this other. <laughs> that chatter is correct. <laughs> You've changed, man. Forgot where you came from. No, you're right. <laughs> Back in the day, dog, you were totally fine with like doxing random teenagers who were laughing behind you when you're shooting a fucking thing in a, in a, in a baseball game. Like, <laughs> you've changed, dog, and for the worse. <laughs> if I've changed from a prior position that you perceive as that, and if I genuinely had that position, then that's for the better, I think. The girl, and it was on video, and they thought they were hilarious, and now people are upset about it. Now, the other side of the conversation is, okay, if this person is propping up a camera to take pictures of themselves, and you are putting a bunch of people in the background in the photo without their permission or consent, then, you know, maybe it's, you know, okay for, for you know, to goof around on somebody like that. If there was someone in front of me trying to take thirst traps and I was getting caught in the background, I probably would be laughing a little bit and talking to my friends about it. Now, I don't know if I'd go as far as to like flip the camera off or call her lame or like giggle and point and try to get in the videos. I don't know if I would go that far as to say that that is like justified, but I can definitely see how someone could get into that position without being an awful person. Now, the counter to that is, hey, if you were uncomfortable with the video being taken of you, maybe you should have nicely asked the girl taking the photos. Do you see the one vid where the girl with contamination OCD who was deaf got call raised because she has a PTSD panic attack when a stranger touched her for a video? Yeah, I did. It's so funny because like Twitter is the only place where a TikTok like that goes viral in one direction and then goes viral in the exact opposite direction at the same fucking time. And each community is completely removed from one another. Half of the people were like, hey, how about you don't fucking touch random strangers in public? Have you have you thought about that? Don't go up to random girls and touch them in public. And then the other half was like, yo, she's so fucking racist because she saw a black man and, and freaked the fuck out. And it's like, dude, what are you doing? Like... It, it, it's a situation where like there is this one is like a little bit more open and shut a little bit more uh cut and dry in the sense that like there was a classic misunderstanding you know what i mean that like turned into something that was massive for no fucking particular reason because it's not just tiktok like we document every aspect of our lives and then people love drawing like insane conclusions out of it like they love just like just taking it and just squeezing the stone until there's so much water seeping out of it, so much juice, just delicious, cummy content coming out of it where you're just like standing on a fucking battleground with your banner raised high with the meth out of motion playing in the background and you're like fucking ready to attack anyone. In a lot of instances, okay, before there was like, you know, social shaming, on TikTok that was like weaponized, okay? Thank you, Sean, who is literally a fucking TikToker. Oh my God, and a YouTuber as well. You guys should check out his content. But yeah, this situation would be solved if literally a single person had an adult conversation with the other party. I think it should be illegal in the future to just like shoot in no context fucking TikTok like that and then publish it. You have to have a normal conversation like you are literally doing it uh, without the the content in mind. Everybody treats one another like fucking NPCs in a story. And people literally, because of TikTok, because TikTok is like making everyone a celebrity for like a microsecond. Uh, people treat everyone like they're, you know, celebrities with like fucking PR teams and shit. If you do a TikTok like that, if you shoot a TikTok like oh, that, yeah. you have to have a conversation with that person and film that part too. And then come to an understanding. He said you not like that, he'll beat your ass. Hazan said you a bitch. He it's said true. you a bitch ass nigga on BD. <laughs> right. Hazan said, yo, your rage is a bitch ass nigga on BD. On BD. <laughs> yeah, Hazan said that, gang. <laughs> bro, shut up, bro. <laughs> dude why is everybody like this why 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 is everyone's chat like this where they just like have to fucking try to make more drama word for word verbatim i said that i'm getting banned <laughs> i'm getting banned <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> 
if she could stop because you're in her frame. And then the counter to that argument is, well, what if the girls weren't uncomfortable? What if they just thought it was funny and so they wanted to mess around with her a little bit? And so I, I come to this very lukewarm take coming out of the first video being like, okay, I get both sides, you know? I can see how people would, would get a little uncomfortable or feel weird about being in the background of the video and then as a result they try to be funny and maybe like goof on the girl a little bit i'm not like crazy about like streamer irl stuff where like regular civilians are kind of caught in the crossfire but you know again i wouldn't go as far as to do what these girls did but at the same time if i saw them doing that i don't think i would be that up in arms about it and of course when you go online and you see both sides of this people take very hard stances on this as they usually do because they want to take a side you know half of these people are are relating to these girls and being like okay i think it's weird for an influencer just to prop up a camera when there's a bunch of people behind her and yeah. just expect everyone to be okay with it but i'm on the side of those people i i think that it's crazy if you're an influencer and you're fucking propping up a camera like if those girls followed her around if she like switched a position and went somewhere else okay and they followed her around then it's valid then they're like literally bullying her okay in in public but she's the one who created the situation that like is uncomfortable for the normies behind her and they're making fun of her like you're in public like come on come the fuck on know your place as an influencer 100 percent like and i say this as someone who's didn't you literally do that to half of japan yeah but if someone in japan was to make fun of me while I was like fucking filming myself in public, I would never be like, oh my God, they're so fucked up. Also, if I did that, everyone would make fun of me, understandably, because I'm Hassan and not like a random TikTok celebrity who everyone is like immediately like, oh my God, I bet she has so much trauma from this situation. Let's defend her. She's just like me for real. If you want to be a good IRL streamer, sorry has to be one of your most used words. Exactly. I expect people to take selfies at a game. It's not like she was grocery shopping. Okay, but it doesn't matter. You're still filming yourself, okay? You're still filming yourself. I think, like, her brother was uh, filming her, okay? And no matter what happens, like, if there's people behind you and they don't, you know, they don't like what you're doing, like, it's on you to not fucking film that content further and, like, make yourself out to be the victim. You're, like, you know, move somewhere else. Everyone takes selfies and shit in public. Come on, man. What? Oh, my God. I'm, I'm going to remind every single person, this is not a normal situation. This is not just like a casual normie like you, Jesus Murphy Jones, okay? Just taking a quick selfie when you're in public, okay? I think a lot of Zoomers are, again, doing that thing that I always talk about where you're like not looking at the situation and assessing it on the boundaries of what it is and instead turning it into like how you got fucking bullied in high school or some shit, Okay. You got made fun of for not fitting in clothes. I know. And it was funny. Like, who cares? Yeah. You had your camera pretty close to yourself and often at the ground. It's not like there's a wide angle of everyone behind. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 I try not to, you know what I mean? I try not to do that. I, uh, that's why everyone always makes fun of me and says like, Oh, you have it on your fucking chest. Since when does taking a few selfies mean recording a whole ass video? You can't know if you're making someone uncomfortable. if They don't say anything directly to you though. Like, if she wanted to, if she truly should have, if she was a human being and not, like, a TikToker, which is, like, a different, uh, I guess, I don't know, it's, like, a different breed, you know what I mean? What she would do is, like, hey, guys, I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm trying to film this for my TikTok. Do you guys want to be in it? If you don't want to be in it, I can go somewhere else. That's how it's handled, you fucking socially maladjusted freak Zoomers. COVID ruined all of you. Fuck! An entire generation has, like, completely lost touch with social courtesy and what it means to be in public. Oh, my God, dude. I'm sorry. I know this is Twitch. Many of you have, like, literally agoraphobia, so it's, like, the worst audience to fucking have this conversation with. But, like, in the normal world, this is how it works. Okay? Okay? All right, chat, I'm making dinner. This is scary gaming. I mean, if they're scary gaming, don't snipe me as on. I mean, come on. I'm like, I'm I'm fucking around a little bit, okay? I'm, I'm obviously joking. I'm embellishing. But like, just my point is literally talk to the other human being. You know what I mean? Talk to the other human being. Gen X said the same about you in 2005. I'm sure they did. But like, <laughs> you know, maybe they had some fucking good points. <laughs> Honestly. 
I'm trying to figure out how people are on TikTok, the TikToker side in this because she seemed sad. And when you're a famous person and you seem sad, especially if you have a parasocial audience, then, you know, uh, especially because, like, everyone can relate to, like, feeling bullied by a bunch of random mean girls. Like, I mean, dude, they're, like, mean teenagers. They're fucking terrifying, okay? I get it. I know. I'm a whole-ass adult, and I feel like teenagers will, stop it. teenagers will probably still try to bully me, okay? But it's crazy. Like, you start out by saying selfies are cringe. That's why everyone misunderstood. I mean, I take selfies as well. They are fucking cringe, ultimately. I know that, like, that's a very millennial thing to say. Oh, selfies are cringe. Like, Zoomers fucking do that all the time. It's, like, totally normal. But ultimately, when you have, like, a video, when you're filming yourself in public, okay, whether it's a selfie or whether it's a video, whatever the fuck it is, yeah, there's hella people behind you. They can make fun of you. And the way to deal with that is not, like, uploading it and being like, I'm so sad right now. I'm crying. I could cry. Okay? Like, uh, and, and then having those people doxxed, because, like, what the fuck else could happen? Okay? Just have the conversation. Have a conversation with the person there and be like, hey, like I said, it's super fucking easy. Be like, hey, I'm sorry. I'm filming something for my TikTok. I noticed you guys were, like, uh, maybe uncomfortable. If you don't want to be in it, I will just move somewhere else. Okay? That's it. But hey, guess what? That wouldn't have gotten her 8 million fucking likes. That's the truth. And you are not a content creator, and I am, and I know what she was doing as a content creator, okay? So I don't know how the fuck you don't see yourself on the side of people who are in the fucking background of that photo, and more so as temporarily embarrassed uh, TikTok influencers, okay? Many of you do not see yourself as temporarily... <laughs> as the exhausted and exploited normie civilians in the background of TikToks, but instead as temporarily embarrassed TikTok content creators, okay? That's the problem, it seems. Okay, apparently Kaya is biting my mom again, so I gotta grab her. But of course, things can't be as simple as seeing both sides. This has to turn into like a massive drama we see tweets like this saying that they're putting the video up on twitter so we don't forget the face of these mean girls this tweet says bullying is unacceptable in any form and then says the full names of both of these girls and says shame on you and then this huge tweet says yeah ain't nobody gonna survive if that shit happens to me which has 94 million views 191,000 likes very popular tweet this situation is blown up even bigger than anyone would expect. So obviously we see the general public take the side of the girl taking the video, saying that the other two girls- Which is weird. Are being way too mean. People don't like bullies, especially online, because people online are dorks, so they don't like bullies. That's just a joke. I'm not making fun of people who defend these girls. No, it's 100% just... true. It's 100% true, King. Say it. No, he's worried because you fucking dorks would probably do the same to Nick. That's why. We're, we're like held captive by a bunch of people who just don't know how to exist in the real world. And we have to sit there because most of our lives are online. We have to sit there and act like what's happening in the real world should be analyzed and, and should be judged on the metrics of how you see it without any fucking context and what your own personal uh, needs are in private, online, okay? It's true. You're a dork if you literally are fucking losing your mind. Just want to look at the situation on a very realistic level. Responses to these tweets have like 30,000, 45,000 likes saying she's better than me because I would have embarrassed her in front of all those people. You have this other massive tweet saying that mean girls are the ugliest. Another tweet says if you go somewhere and you sit behind someone who's trying to enjoy themselves and all you can do is sit there and make fun of them, then your life is going to be pretty sad and pathetic. 54,000 likes. She's literally so pretty that's why they're mad. Now nah, after that lame I would have been climbing over seats and swinging. It's like pretty unanimously against the bullies and again i want to take a step back at the situation and and look at the bigger picture not because i'm on any specific side but because this is just a very classic case of the internet going way too far with something from the clips we watched yes these girls were being pretty mean they were being rude but 
does it require people to uh, come out with their full names and um, take screenshots of their faces and be just as awful back to them? Now, that's up for you to decide. For me, specifically... Be just as awful? It's way worse than just being awful, dude. What the fuck? It's way worse than just being awful. You're like fucking... You're, you are unleashing hell upon them. Like, when you fucking dox a normie, oh my god, like... Like, that is, like, infinitely bigger bullying at that point. And there's still motherfuckers who are like, well, if they weren't being big bullies in public, then, you know... <laughs> guess what? If they weren't being bullies in public, then none of this would have happened. It's like, oh, okay, I guess I'll fucking conduct myself... It, it, to the desires of like random anonymous freakazoids online every single time I even make a decision in public like I might god forbid be filmed by someone else and holy fuck what if that person perceives me as a bully oh my god you know what I mean karma works in mysterious ways I suppose okay I'm gonna repeat this one more time you are infinitely more likely to be victim of such a thing as a normie then, like, actually be on the, the uh, side of the TikToker, okay? It is infinitely more likely for you to be, like, that's not karma. Karma is not directly, like, led by human beings. Karma is if, like, I don't know, those girls went to school, and then there was a new foreign exchange student at school, and she was, like, a vicious bully, and she turned around and was like, you smell bad, and then everyone started saying that she smells bad for, like, a week, Okay, and then everybody forgot about it. That would be karma. Okay, karma is not directly and maliciously doxing people. The doxing is bad. Why are you defending the mean girl still? I don't get it. Like what they did is not right. Okay, they were behaving in a mean way. But again, it's not the end of the fucking world. Human beings behave in mysterious and oftentimes mean ways to one another in public. You know how you solve that? I know this is so. This is a magical trip, uh, a trick. Are you ready for this? You know how you solve that, dude. You know how you solve that by talking to them. Talk to them in pu in public. When you're in public and someone is being mean to you, have a conversation with them. Don't film them and then post it on TikTok and fucking be like, these guys are find them and and you know kill these people, please. Like that's insane. I know she didn't say that, but like you know that's how some people behave. <laughs> As, a, as an older Hassan Abi fan, I gotta figure out how to raise my eventual kids to not be as clueless as this toxic ass chat. I know. Real toxicity here is from Kaya. I'm gonna be honest with you. She's fucking so toxic right now. She gets put in a crate for like three seconds and immediately loses her shit. Basically, after seeing where this uh, rabbit hole led me to, I, I don't think that it's the best place. Not only were the- Why is this a conversation where both people are in the wrong? I can understand not wanting to tr have a conversation with the people actively clowning on me. Okay. I'm going to repeat this one more time. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to try to repeat this one more time. Those people are doing a light offense. Okay. What they're doing is, is doing a light offense. Why are they doing it? Well, they feel valid and justified in doing it because you're filming them. Okay. I'm going to repeat this one more time. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to try to repeat this one more time. Those people are doing a light offense. Okay. What they're doing is, is doing a light offense. Why are they doing it? Well, they feel valid and justified in doing it because you're filming them. Okay. None of this would have happened if you weren't filming yourself with them in the background. Okay. This would not have happened if you weren't filming them in the background. Okay. Just remember that. If you don't consider that to be a light offense, filming someone randomly, especially when you are a TikToker with a lot of fucking fans or whatever, okay? I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you, okay? But for real, for real, every school defines cyberbully as the person who puts it online. If someone is mean girl to you, but you post about it on Facebook and TikTok, you are suspended, I mean, I don't even think that that's the best way to deal with it for, from a school's perspective, but you and I would do that, but you expect that most people to approach the bully for a chat law, but you are the one who's also being like rude in that regard.
even if you're in public, you can't just be like, sorry, shouldn't have gone out in public. You don't have a right to expect, you don't have a normal expectation of privacy. You're my subjects now. No, they're not your subjects. They're not your fucking props. They're going to behave in whichever way they want to behave. And sometimes that's going to be mean, okay? Like, instead of continuing to film them, turn the fucking camera off and have a conversation with them. Shut the fuck up to the chatters. Oh, my Lord. Well, they knew they were being filmed, so don't go out of your way to be a sick head on film. I don't, know, I don't know how you think it's not a light offense for her to film them in the background. Wait, what? No, I do think it's a light offense. What? As a content creator, you are the nuisance in every situation. You also decide the narrative that you post so any person has a right to be apprehensive. Exactly. Which is really weird because I am the content creator in this regard and a bunch of fucking normies are up my asshole. <coughs> the TikToker filming herself in public with... People behaving like her loyal subjects that weren't acting in the way that she wanted them to, okay, is doing the light offense first. And then they are reacting to that by making fun of her and being mean girls in a way that, unfortunately, I feel hurt the feelings of a lot of fucking weirdos in this community as well. I love you all. You're my weirdos, okay? I love you, but you're a fucking weirdo if you're like immediately looking at that situation and not seeing that they should not have been like that could have been dealt with in in uh, public, okay? In that very moment, instead of taking it up to TikTok, where you have literally every fucking opportunity to like cut it in whichever way you want to. Normie don't like mean people. I think it's that simple. Guess we are all soy and shit. No, don't try to fucking turn this into a conservative thing, okay? Don't try to turn this into a fucking conservative thing. No, the worst offense here is the doxing. And you as a TikTok content creator chose to literally fucking film people and then they reacted in a way that you didn't like and instead of taking it up with them, you fucking published it online and then they got doxed. That is fucking insane. Stop putting your personal trauma into situations where the boundaries are entirely fucking different. Okay? Giving vulnerable narcissists Suddenly pro-consent Andy's forget consent to being filmed is a thing. Like, it's weird. It's very weird. Full names of these girls found and not only did people <clears throat> spread their information out across the entire world, but when we look at other TikToks about the situation, we can see that people are bringing up uh, the girl's ex-boyfriend suddenly. You know, I'm against cancel culture, but like, there might be some benefit to it because remember those girls that were being bullies? 53K likes. Oh my God. Oh my God, dude. This is the worst thing that Xi Jinping has done to this country. Oh, my God. It's literally, oh, like America kind of deserves it, but also it still makes me mad because I have to live in it. You know what I mean? Liberate us, please. What are you doing? I want Doyen. I want constant content moderation, okay? It's fine if I can't fucking call you Winnie the Pooh or whatever the fuck gets, get, you know, the, the Chinese government mad. I don't give a shit, okay? If it, if it eliminates, eradicates all of these fucking freak-like behaviors online, I'm good with it. Oh, my God. Chad is also not understanding the actual detriment of bullying is over time and consistent and malicious. The TikToker is never going to see these girls again. They know that acting mean for a single moment to someone you're never going to see is generally considered to be socially acceptable. Honking a car, for instance. Yeah, you're like a dickhead. You're being a dickhead for a brief moment. Internet is ruthless. So all of a sudden, one of the real estate agencies that I assume one of the girls works at has like 1.1 stars on Google reviews, which is a case of the internet going too far because this company is not made up of this one girl. This might just be the place she works at and do the people working there and does the owner of that business. I flipped a guy off today who honked to me as I crossed the street. Should I be hunted down and killed? Well, if he was a TikToker, you probably will be hunted down and killed. So good luck. Sorry, chatter. You're fucking dead now. Okay. Yeah. It's like a, it follows situation. You're fucked. Okay. God forbid, dude. Holy fuck. God forbid you did you did something in that in a brief moment where like someone honked at you, you honked back. You're dead now. They're gonna kill you. Good luck. Have fun. You know, you deserve it apparently, according to this fucking psychopathic community too. This deserve to uh, have their business fail because of one of their employees that got caught in the background of some TikTok. Being an asshole is bad, but let's be actually realistic about this. How much hate does this kind of bullying really 
deserve. Yes, we can say it's wrong. Yes, we can say that those girls shouldn't have done that. But is there any part of us that should be trying to actually rip apart and destroy their lives? Now, this is a question that some people would, would scoff at because it's like, ah, fuck them, who cares? But I do want to at least look at the apology or statement that these girls made and see from their perspective what the story is all about. We're here to tell you our side of the story. Let's stop the video for one second to talk about our sponsor for the video. Oh, you Tastify. son of a gun, Tastify dude. is the world's most popular tech accessory. Right at the fucking top of the hour, Jobs too. Are you kidding me? Right at the top of the hour, Green is not Nick. Oh my God, dude. There's a three minute ad break. Fuck. I mean, he just, he did that. That's his segue. You know what I mean? If you no longer want to see those ads, if you want the juicy tidbits of what's going on in the video, and all you're going to do is, uh, you know, you're going to have to subscribe. Please don't dox me because I did that and it made you upset, okay? Fucking little freaks. Oh, my God. There are often takes I don't agree with here, but this is one of the craziest. I can only assume it's perma onliners. Yes, we're on Twitch, of course. Of course it's perma onliners. Some of you come in here for like three minutes. Some of you are here for eight hours, Okay. And the longer you are here, the longer you are here, the, the less likely you are to like go outside and like do shit online or I mean, do shit offline outside in the real world. And the more you're like, no, this is a totally normal way to fucking operate. Okay. It's crazy. I promise you guys, even if you are always here, just trust my opinion on this matter. Okay. I will not lead you astray. In order for you to at least appear like a normal person online, even if you don't go outside at all, just trust my takes on this matter, okay? I'm right in this. I promise. Please. Also, touch grass in general. It is good. It is a good thing, okay? It's not a bad thing. Um, anyway, uh, the three-minute ad break is upon us, though. Um, you know, you can subscribe for $5 or for free with the Twitch Prime or by getting gifted a sub. Here's the three-minute ad break now. This video... Let's get back to the fun. And we're here to tell you our side of the story. Sorry it took us a little bit of time to get back like, to Look at this. This has got 1,975 likes. <laughs> um, we are college students with jobs and a life. So immediately the video starts out in a way that like obviously isn't very sorry about the situation. And that's not me saying that immediately they're in the wrong or right or whatever, but I do think it is sort of a their apology sucked. I think then it's a totally valid to dox them. You're right. Fuck it, dude. You know, totally valid. You got them. Like, fuck you mean, dude. What, what do you, what do you mean? Please. Some of you need to be like shaken a little bit. You know what I mean? What the fuck is happening? A bad <clears throat> way to start a video when you're trying to get people to come onto your side about something. And we just didn't have time for, for the media and honestly, the false accusations that have been coming our way. Hey guys, just before we start this video, I did just want to clarify that there is nothing else out there coming from us. So they continue to explain that there's like a lot of fake accounts out there, a lot of people trying to add in parts to this story to make these girls look worse. This is their only statement. So if you see screenshots or like, messages coming from these girls i would Dude, that's normal that's good i like that that's very good hey chat this is a totally righteous way to behave one day you will be on the fucking receiving end of this remember this okay well maybe not because you never go outside but if you did you could be on the receiving end of this okay holy fuck dude at least be weary that they are probably fake because there are a lot of people who are a part of this drama who are feeding into it and trying to take sides and be as online as they can be. And that causes this to be a lot messier than it needs to be because in reality, it's something that two humans should be figuring out between themselves, but millions of people have been dragged into it and now it's sort of like, okay, is the scale of this way bigger than it should have been in the first place? USC sometimes gives out tickets for a student to buy to go to this is up there with a the problematic age gap discourse for things i've seen chat say that absolutely do not exist in the real world or yeah if you're uh if you're dating a shorter woman you're a pedophile <laughs> like extremely online conversations that like literally do not happen in the real world the the problematic age gap discourse especially for anyone over the age of 25 okay like anyone over the age of 25, the, the, it's over. It's done. There's no problematic age gap discourse. Like you can date a fucking 700 year old if you want to. Okay. Calm down. Um, like, or if you, 
Yeah, if you're if you're dating a short woman, you're a pedophile discourse. Again, permanently online, extremely online, fucking ridiculous. Uh, it's just, it, that's how it is. That's how it works. This is another one of these things where it's like, I feel personally slighted. Like this is my own uh, bully uh, from high school. And uh, it's a fucking... You know, for that reason, uh, I, I'm going to do everything I can to destroy their lives. Um, sporting events. Liz, you want to explain? Um, when we got assigned our seats, um, before the game started, um, I got called out to the big screen. Um, and we'll add the clip on there for y'all to see. <laughs> I hope this comes around having something to do with the video, because it seems like there's a lot of, like, unnecessary information to give context to this. But... I could be wrong. Maybe we should look at it. Also, I do want to note that this video is from a different account because the girls that posted the original apology did. And for the record, you had a bully? Yes, dude. I was fucking mercilessly bullied. I was beaten up in fucking high school. I was a massive nerd, dude. That's all, all I did was fucking draw like 24 hours of the day, seven days a week. What the fuck do you mean? If I had any opportunity to fucking like dox my bullies and ruin their lives, I would never do that in a million years. You know what? You know why? Because I'm a goddamn adult, okay? I'm a goddamn adult. Do you understand? That's how it works. When you're a normal human being, you learn to forgive, okay? And that's the only way you can truly get over genuinely traumatic events of your fucking past. So shut the fuck up. Did you get a knife pulled? Yeah, I did, as a matter of fact. And, uh, dude, I know for a motherfucking fact that that dude, I don't even know what the fuck he's doing now, but he is in an infinitely worse situation than myself. He was doing it at the time because he was in an infinitely worse situation than myself even at the time. Okay. Did delete it after people responded. So I'm assuming that people didn't take it very well. Um, and when I came back from my seat. There's literally a video that we saw years ago that you were being bullied in a school toilet. No, it was a locker room. Yeah, I was getting piled on with like my ass getting beat. It wasn't even like bullying in the American sense where like someone did a fucking, you know, someone offended you. Okay. Uh, and, and said like. Oh, are you stimming? And you were like, oh, I am actually stimming. You just fucking traumatized me some some shit like that. It wasn't even like a slight, subtle jab or anything. They were beating the fuck out of me, okay? They were. Yeah, it was Korean-style bullying. I guess, no, it was Turkish-style bullying. Like, multiple people piled on top of me, punching the fuck out of me, my head, everywhere. Like, you know, it, it's just, I was, I was a kid, but... Ultimately, it doesn't fucking matter. You know what I mean? Uh, I've I've grown up. Uh, I've learned to live and let live and forgive and forget. You know what I mean? Are you okay? Do I not look okay to you? I'm 31 years old. I'm about to be 32. I, I'm very okay. Seat to sit down. Um, this older man came and sat in front of us and started to record us. Something I do want to point out is people are saying oh if you so felt uncomfortable then why didn't you move we didn't move because we were actually sitting on our assigned seats the ones that we paid for where were we gonna go on um, the thing is that in this situation she was not in <laughs> why didn't you move what the fuck why did you not move for our lordship you peasants how many tiktok followers do you have ha <laughs> <laughs> ay, ay, ay. And her so-called husband She was not sitting on her right spot USC had this section bought So this part also seems a little bit unnecessary I mean, it is like true that, you know Because they're in their assigned seats They can't really move But at the same time doesn't really excuse the other stuff that people are upset about So I feel like the context isn't really gonna land with the greater audience as far as the flicking off goes because i know a lot of people have been really bothered at that saying that that was the whole bullying situation the flicking off was aimed toward what was the full video someone sent me the fucking video i don't even remember what they did because it was so like dumb and like what was it does anyone have the video give me the fucking full video i know nick like posted parts of it but i want to see it like uninterrupted Bro, Zoomers and everyone turn into, um, actually, I'm a sovereign citizen uh, of the United States of America. And I'm allowed to film. It's my First Amendment right, constitutional right. Everyone turn into auditors. Yeah, literally. Watch my confidence disappear after these random girls make fun of me for taking pics. Okay, feeling my spice vibes.
Was this necessary? Thank you. Criminally offensive side eye starts recording me. Telling her bestie it. I can literally hear the whole convo. <laughs> Realizing they are talking about me. Criminally offensive side eye is what I what did it for me. I, I turned I turned my entire perspective around. I, now that I've seen the actual video, yeah. No, they, they don't deserve to be doxxed. They deserve to be murdered! That's right! What the fuck? I'm even more mad than I was before! Everything I said is wrong! What the fuck? Death! Death! Kind of wild that Kaya is sleeping through pretty much all of this. Okay, look at her fucking wagging her dummy tail. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday! There will be death! At the arena! <laughs> Dude, she could have died. You're laughing. You're laughing? She was victim of a criminal side eye? She could have literally died. I have an aunt that died from a criminal side eye. Feeling super self-conscious. I wanted to cry. Wow. That's a, yeah, it's a felony, dude. Yeah. They should have bullied her harder because she still posted this video. <laughs> True. Oh, uh, uh, this reminds me when people in the chat said Will Smith's slap was attempted murder. <laughs> uh, not going to lie. I actually used to be like them not too long ago. It's just an ego thing mainly. I don't think I should have had my life ruined because I was an asshole growing up. Yeah. My dad got side-eyed in Desert Storm. Hasn't been the same since. The hatred of those women is insane, though. I saw an account dedicated to reposting hate about them, and the repost of the OG video had more views. Do you think this generation specifically is soft? No. No, it's the opposite. No, I'm not some fucking boomer being like, oh, man, these kids these days, they're too soft. No, it's the opposite. This generation is criminal, dude. Y'all are a bunch of fucking demons. You're disgusting little fucking shitty freaks. So many of you. Myself included at certain moments, and I have to, like, reel it in. No, I think this next generation is a bunch of the most smarmy, awful, self-entitled, egomaniacal pieces of shit that literally are so... Like, they behave like they are these magnanimous deities in the way that they deliver righteous indignation. They're monsters. They're fucking sociopathic. Are you kidding me? It is not a fucking, this is not a, oh, the next generation is so soft shit. No, not at all. They're fucking monsters, dude. We are so weirdly fucking like puritanical, but not in the same sensibilities of like Puritans of the past, but for that same like weird moralizing like endless conquest to like uh, i don't know engage in social cleansing it is so fucked up oof oof it's so incredibly disastrously fucked up <clears throat> public hanging bloodlust type shit yeah everyone behaves like they got a pr team because everyone, the irony is that, like, no empathy, don't care. No, literally. The annoying thing about it, too, is that those folks are just going to get worse, probably, and not better. Oh, 100%. Like, TikTok is going in the exact opposite direction where everyone... Yeah, like, Light Yagami is the, the, the fucking empathetic figurehead for every single person. Gen Alpha is smarmy as fuck. Did we forget about the devious lick shit? Like, I, I, I'd rather fucking bring back Jesus Christ than the Quran and shit than whatever the fuck is going on. Holy shit. I wouldn't say this generation is soft, but very deregulated emotionally and intellectually.
I think you are too old for this conversation. Taking, taking a selfie or, or TikTok of yourself in public does not invite public bullying or ridicule. Dude, I am literally the foremost authority on this conversation. I promise you. As someone who is a public figure who films himself and sometimes others in the background, I promise you, like, normally it is in my best interest to side with the content creator. Okay? I don't know why you don't get that. I'm quite literally arguing against something that I might actually do in the future. Okay? And every single person is like incredibly socially disconnected, but because every single other person in the chat is incredibly social disconnected, socially disconnected, they think this is like totally valid and, and a normal and reasonable way to behave. Like what they did is mean, okay? What they did is mean. But this is nowhere near like fitting of the punishment that they received. And you filming this and like posting it on TikTok invites that level of punishment. It gives you so much clout. It's awesome. It's delicious. You know what I mean? But God damn, dude. What they did is like silly. Like there's just, she fucking, she flipped her off like this in one photo in a photo bomb. Wow. How should they be punished then? Are you insane? What do you mean punishment? What the fuck are you talking about? These kinds of things have a way of regulating themselves. Punished? How should they be punished then? How should you be punished, you petulant child, you little shit? What do you mean, how should they be punished? Who the fuck are you? What are you, the judge, jury, and executioner? How should they be punished? Get the fuck out of here. Are these your cousins? Wait, what? My cousins? Made faces flip her off and called her lame. I've been meaner to my own family members. Lamau, capital. That's how should they should be punished. Teen girls deserve hate. Whew. I'm not having a conversation with you. You're having a conversation on entirely different boundaries. You're having a conversation right now with your high school bully that traumatized you. Okay? That's PTSD talking. Okay? And it's really fucking hard to have a conversation with like 20,000 people with like at least 5,000 of you literally being like, no, this is so justifiable actually. The way that... Everyone is behaving. It's mind-boggling. They shouldn't have kept being cringe in the background and the person filming legit should have, should have just stopped and done it later. Exactly. That's it. That's the point. Exactly. But the moment that she filmed it, kept filming it, posted it on TikTok with this like edited-ass fucking video, that's the moment where like she becomes the way larger offender. Okay? That's my issue here. This is insane. It's part of the mean girl canceling trend. I largely agree with you, but I think there was more context here, but the Italian girls on the train, I think is a bigger in that trend. Yeah, that's different. Those girls were being fucking racist. What the fuck do you mean? And even that I think is like, you know, at the fucking actual edge of like, are they, are they young? We don't know. Is it, it's a one fucking brief moment. Like even then they shouldn't be fucking doxxed and posted like that. Like that's crazy. Hey, notice how when the two Korean, uh, uh, the, the boy and the girl were in and out and they were filming themselves eating. No one else was in the background. And there was a racist guy who was like stalking them. Do you remember how I reacted to that. Did you notice that I was like, wow, it's really fucked up that like they're putting this fucking criminally racist guy on blast. No, of course not. Because that was incredibly fucked up. He approached them. He was being virulently racist and over and over again was being homophobic, racist, was putting them on fucking blast, who was literally threatening them physically. Okay. That is probably the only circumstance where it is contextually appropriate to not only inform the authorities immediately, but also put that person on fucking blast. And even then, they didn't show that guy's face. 
He was threatening them. Okay? Does age excuse racism ignorance? This is so dumb. No. But contextually speaking, one second of a fucking video could be so different, okay? So I'm giving you an actual circumstance where the boundaries fit the, the, the punishment, okay? Of putting someone on blast. Anyway, let's continue. Oh, that was the OG video. the camera, because um, her husband had been recording for over maybe five to ten minutes, which continued to make us uncomfortable. So yes, I do acknowledge. Wait, so she had a husband who was recording the video, or did she prop up the camera? Or what part of that was with the husband? Because if you are recording for five to ten minutes, and you're being, like, obvious about it, and there's a bunch of people behind you, like, I, I do think that it would make people feel uncomfortable. Yeah, I don't every, know if putting that immense... Yeah, if everyone is shadow boxing their fucking middle school bullies, like, straight up. Everyone is doing that right now. It's hard. I'm not saying Nazi, of course, but the need for TikTok to find a villain leads them to sometimes make the right call, but sometimes to not as well and catch some people in the crossfire. Yeah, and the irony is, like, we used to clown on Reddit for this kind of shit. You know what I mean? Like, this was a we did it Reddit, you know? Where is... Do you, do you guys know the origin of that meme? Do you know where the we did it Reddit comes from? Like the Boston bombing and like finding random people and doxing them thinking that they actually fucking literally the Boston bombing. Back then, it was like understood that you shouldn't do that because you're in the fucking wrong. Now everyone is doing a we did it Reddit on TikTok on a daily basis and everyone is so fucking self-important that they think, no, actually this kind of, uh, you know, social cleansing is, is perfectly valid as a matter of fact. For every one, like, truly racist, uh, harmful individual that you catch in the action, you're clapping the ass cheeks of, like, thousands of random normies for no fucking particular reason. This amount of blame on these girls is really worth it, I guess. I'm not trying to take their side because I know the internet is so, like, angry at them. I do not think this apology is great so far. But I do think that we should relax because who cares about this? Bullying, bad, bad thing to do. But is this case of bullying the one that really is going to cause people on the internet to just tear apart these women and do whatever they can to make them miserable? No, it's rarely ever justified. There was never any communication or interaction between the girl who posted the video and the mean girls of them giving us any reason to take this hard of a stance against somebody. That my behavior was inappropriate, but keep in mind any woman, any young lady at a public area would feel harassed. It's clear that the whole time that she was doing her own reactions towards the the camera i did not know what was going on with that the second i found out about this video being uploaded that's when i saw what she was doing so i had no part in that okay and then the second as to what she was heard in my ear which was look we're going to be in her video i went ahead and did my funny face which is called photo bombing which is not bullying and it's not something illegal either for me so uh as an apology goes for people that aren't on these girls sides even I'm going to be honest with you. I, I, I think Nick is going way harder on these girls than, than uh, like he's being entirely too charitable to the other side of the conversation that is like objectively in the wrong and capitulating to their demands is like wild to me. Yeah, it's not an apology because like they're describing what their perspective is and they thought perhaps falsely that like the perceptions of the mass lynching that is occurring, not lynching, but like, you know what I mean? The, the, the fucking... The, 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 what is the, what's the term? The, the pickaxes that came out for them. Like they're the fucking Frankenstein's monster, the witch hunt. Okay. What is happening in that situation? Oh, not pickaxes, pitchforks. Fuck ESL. English is my second language. Shut the fuck up. Um, the, the pitchforks were already out for them. So they don't understand that like the audience is going to be reasonable and perceive it that way because we do have herd mentality. Okay. And like, once someone is like being perceived as cringe or in the wrong, everybody piles on and you have a way to like literally massage that. I see it all the time. I'll post a fucking photo. If my psychopathic fan base are of haters, not you guys, but like haters don't reach it immediately. It's like wildly well received, but then it reaches outside of the target audience. Some fucking massive content creator with a hate boner will be like, this guy fucking sucks. And then it shifts and then you see random people jumping on the pile on to be like, yeah, you are a fucking clown. Fuck you. I mean, that's like 
obviously, whatever. I'm a public figure. It doesn't fucking uh, matter at the end all be all. But like the reason why I'm mentioning it right now is because they thought people would look at it normally and objectively as adults. Okay. They thought people would look at it. So they're like describing their perspective. Meanwhile, that's not what happened. They're already pre being perceived as like villains worthy of the punishment. Okay. In a little bit, it is hard to jump on and be a fan of them only because the, the response wasn't handled that well. And I think there can be an apology that includes a part that is like, hey, I can admit that I did something that is wrong, but I don't deserve this. But they made a horrible response video. Yeah, um, that's not up for you to decide, buddy. Okay, be a normal human and like analyze the situation and the boundaries without putting your own fucking personal trauma in there. Okay, these girls are not like the girls that rejected you. These girls are not the girls that fucking said you have a small penis or you smell bad and like fucking bullied you in high school. Okay, these are random people. They're not content creators either. Okay, they're not... They don't have a PR team writing a fucking delicately crafted response. They're just going, what the fuck is happening? Like, wh what is happening? We're getting doxxed when, like, we were being filmed and we photobombed. Okay? They didn't even say it was an apology. They said it was their side of the story. Why the fuck do you, uh, like, think you're owed an apology? Level of harassment. I do think that's a fair thing to say, even though the internet doesn't like it very much. And again, really, no matter how bad this apology is, the lengths at which random people went to uh, attack these girls and- What is this chatters that disagree were bullied in high school thing kind of cringe, bro? It's only cringe because it feels personal, okay? And I am being a little scathing because you need a fucking wake up call. The fuck do you mean, dude? Like, yeah, if you're reacting in this way, you are not reacting in a logical way. It is a trauma response. I'm being nice to at least say that, like, you are not a fucking schizophrenic weirdo. You're just reacting this way because you're an otherwise normal person with a bit of a trauma response in this particular matter. Like, you cannot be this emotionally attached to this random interaction and be a normal person at the same time. Okay? It's one or the other. Either you're a normal person, but this is bringing up, invoking some deeply hidden trauma within you, and that's why you're reacting the way that you're reacting, or you're a fucking psycho. Take your pick. If this pisses you off to this degree, there's something going on, and I urge you to, to, to deeply just, you know, self-examine, okay? It's like spitting in someone's face and crying foul when they spit back. People aren't obligated to react positively when you start filming yourself for 10 minutes in a public setting. Like, exactly. But even then, it's like not spitting back in someone's face. You know what I mean? That person originally did something that is like, you know, socially kind of weird. The other people behind them responded in that way, okay? It was mean. Their response was mean. Like I said, everyone's a villain in the story, but some are greater villains than others. To ruin their lives is very insane. This apology could be 10 times worse than this, and I still would not be condoning people to figure out where they work, where they live, their full names, their families. No one really deserves that because you don't end up just affecting the people that you are against. You end up affecting their family and friends and, and you hurt misogyny the coded this whole discussion. were innocent in this <laughs> situation. People that had nothing to do with the three of these girls. But I do agree that for this girl, um, even though she's kind of pushing the blame onto her friend. So I had no part in that, okay? It's weird that you're equating the TikToker to the freaks on Twitter. No, 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 no. If you're a TikToker, you know. No. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Deliberately putting out a video like that? No, 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 no. You're inviting the feral behavior. I will not stand idly by and act like that's something that, oh, oh, no, I had no idea. Even for the most charitable, the intent of the TikToker may have been to express her feelings, but the impact led to a level of hate that was not proportional. You have a share of responsibility. Absolutely. absolutely, fucking lutely dude. She was photobombing. We know what photobombing is, okay? She just made a funny face at the camera, and they laughed a little bit because they were probably feeling a little weird about the whole thing. They were being filmed on a camera. And I'm sure they didn't realize just how bad it looked from the other side of it. But I don't, I, you know, again, I'm not trying to defend them. I'm not trying to have some hot take about the situation, but like. Bro, he's literally, that's not a hot take. You're a normal, this is a normal take. Oh my God. Nick is so scared of his generation coming after him. 
I think we should all relax with this a little bit. I think things got out of hand, you know? Bullying is awful and sucks, but um, this is... This sucks more than that. And this is a result of someone else's actions. So I know that saying that this sucks more really could have been prevented by those girls not doing that in the first place. But, you know, we're human. It's two girls who are... Now I'm recording this over the public ba baseball game is not bad. If they didn't do anything, no one would have noticed the girls at all. Same way, no one noticed anyone else in the background. Okay. I can't have, I can't have a, a, a conversation on this particular matter any further because like... Whether no matter what you say, my school experience was chill. I just don't feel sorry for them, lol. Like, okay, well, something wrong happened in your brain, okay? It did. You literally just said recording strangers in public is totally fucking chill and valid, and they know they should know better to conduct themselves in a particular matter. I'm sorry. You're so fucking angry. You're like a very angry person. You're a very bloodthirsty person. Every single one of you, okay? It's not photobombing. They were in the background. It was their seats. No, they are photobombing. They're like behaving in a way they're like, oh, like they're photobombing. Okay. Which is fine. Think about it this way. When I pull you out to the public square in front of everyone else because of something you said in the chat and then a bunch of fucking random sick freaks jump down your throat. Okay. That doesn't feel good, does it? It doesn't. And I literally yell at people and we mass ban people that do that all the fucking time. Because I don't want people to do that to you either. And a lot of people don't recognize that getting dogpiled in that regard could happen to them in any given moment. Okay? If you can comprehend it like that, you should be able to understand this happening in a much more real setting where your actual face is associated with your actions. And their actions were nowhere near the level that deserved anything, like the level to be blasted on fucking TikTok with all of the foreseeable repercussions that would come along with that. We're in college. Can we relax for a second and not like, like try to kill anybody? Can we relax and try not to ruin the careers and the lives of people that are connected to them just because they happen to be in a TikTok that has millions of views on it. I know that there's going to be people out there that are not going to believe this, but we were not bullying her. There was nothing said that we can mess up with our with her self-esteem. Yes, we had a laugh. So what about photobombing? I bet somebody does. Everyone does it. So this is, again, I want to be mindful here of the fact that these people aren't influencers they don't know how to apologize to getting canceled online these 100%. are normal people so it is kind of funny to watch normal everyday people who have nothing to do with the internet try to navigate how to not make an audience upset at them this is obviously not the best way to do it regardless of whether or not they're right or not about how awful this has been for them and regardless of whether or not they were bullying the girl I think it's too much. Them saying they weren't bullying the girl, a lot of people rolled eyes at, including myself in a sense, because they did say lame pretty loud enough for her to hear. You know, she was flipping off the camera. They were giggling and kind of like looking at her. It's more about understanding that that behavior could very easily make that girl feel like she's bullied. Regardless of whether or not you were talking about the girl specifically or the camera, it's about how the victim of the bullying feels. And if that attention that you gave to her made her feel a certain way and made her feel bad about herself then yeah you're kind of bullying her now the question is is it all right for someone to post this video and out these girls for doing that i think you are at free reign to technically do that by the rules of the internet you know if people are being an asshole to you we've seen it many times on the internet i don't think that every person should be responsible for making sure other people don't get canceled by blurring their faces and this and that like videos happen on tiktok every day and there's faces of people in them and we can't control the audience and the wider audience of a viral video because when this girl initially posted this video you had a lot of people getting upset at her saying stuff uh, like this TikTok I saw here she brought that video to social media because she knew that other people on TikTok would become so righteously angry and fight for her in a way she is incapable of fighting for herself and that is very lame because she's not a child or Speak. someone in a situation with a power imbalance fucking preach oh my god some fucking normalcy jesus christ oh my i thought the entirety of fucking tiktok was broken there's still normal people out there jesus christ oh my god thank fucking lord holy moly dude queen
talent. She's a girl. By the way, 6,900 6, likes only, of course, because she's speaking truth. Girl at a baseball game who could not stick up for herself, and that is something that she has to work through on her own as an adult. So that response is a little weird to me. Because that girl, yes, she did bring this up and she did turn it into something bigger than it what? initially was. But how is she supposed to know that all those people were going to respond? And That's crazy. No, 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 no. You're big. Nope. No, 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 no. You're a big TikToker. Okay, this is a generational thing. I love Nick. I think it's a generational thing. It's got to be. It's got to be. But like, but Sean is, is his age, you know? I'm Nick's age. It ain't generational. Not a generational thing. It's like you said before, it's a going outside thing. But he goes outside. He's literally the most outside. He's like doing a fucking tour. In an insane way. I mean, just to give you a little spoiler of what's ahead, this girl did come out with a statement about all of this happening and did say that she doesn't condone any of the harassment towards the girls. I think it's a little bit too much to say that she didn't stand up for herself and she knew that the internet would fight for her so she didn't do it for herself. I'm sure she was looking for some likes on a TikTok and thought that, you know, this is something that people on TikTok would be interested in and she was right, but I do not think she was. No, the most charitable interpretation of the matter the most charitable interpretation of the matter is that, like, she felt really sad, okay? This is, like, hyper-charitable, like, insanely charitable. Sean the Black is obviously boomer-coded. He's in here all day, so clearly. But so is Nick, so I don't know what the fuck's going on there. Anyway, listen. So, the most insanely charitable, like, I'm going out of my fucking, I'm, like, losing myself a little bit to say these things that I'm about to say, but let's say... Maybe she felt bad and thought that it would be relatable and missed the mark and didn't think that people would like go, you know, holy conquest like that one chatter originally stated. Even then, she should have known better. She should have known better. Even then, she should have known that she should not have fucking posted that. I'm literally Gen Z. TikToker is insane and doxing is always bad. I'm literally Gen Z. TikTokers are insane and doxing is always bad. Like, another person actually brought up a good point. It's like, keep this in the fucking, you know, group chat. If you felt bad about them, you send it to your group chat. And, you know, you get a little bit more praise. You're like, queen, you're beautiful. Like, fuck those hoes, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, that's what you're supposed to do. Like, you're not supposed to blast it on TikTok, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. She shouldn't have posted. Like, it wasn't a good shot why I posted. it. Nah, girl was right on that last one. No, I'm saying, yeah, you shouldn't post that. You should. She should not have posted that TikTok. But, hey, she got 8 million likes. You know what I'm saying? She had garnered sympathy up until the moment of posting it to TikTok. She went into this situation with the idea that she was going to ruin these girls' lives. Because I would not put the blame on her for that at all. I don't think Jackie's in the wrong for posting that video and pointing out those girls in the background. You can say what you want about that, but- She didn't even say anything, was just strangers being filmed. No, she did say, what do you mean? She said criminal side eye, they're like talking shit about me. She greatly, she said, it made me feel like I wanna cry. What do you mean? She said so much there. Even if she didn't say anything and she was just like sitting there and they were, you know, doing photo bombing her and she posted it, it still wouldn't have been, it still would have been a problem to post. But if people, yeah, you should have just like fucking blurred their faces or something. But no, God forbid. Yeah, she started the video as watch these girls be mean to me. Like, people want on. to share something that happened with them online. They have, you know, we have to allow them to do that. Okay. And we saw both points of view and we're making an informed decision on it before typing comments and doing things that are illegal and that might hurt other people their boyfriends decided to post a video of them basically explaining the situation but if you have something to say about me just say it to me please don't go out and cause my parents out cause my aunts lizard's boyfriend speaks out 372,000 likes yo this is really bad this is really bad this is really 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 bad you're a grown ass lady what are you doing so because my family members out, it's, it's just unnecessary. Also, none of the girls work at Limestone Commercial Real Estate. So if y'all could please just leave positive reviews because y'all have just been leaving hate on- So this TikTok is really diving into it saying, update Lizard's boyfriend speaks out, which I think is supposed to be a name for one of the mean girls. Again, unnecessary. I think the boyfriend even speaks- Bro, that's so unhinged. Yo. 
Yo, that's so unhinged, dude. That's like, dude, dude, dude. How do you not see a problem here? This is really bad, man. This is like, ooh, this is real fucking bad. This is, yikes, dude. This is really, 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 really bad. Like, the, the metrics on this shit is crazy, dude. The engagement, like, the the metrics and the engagement on that is, if that's not terrifying to you, I don't know what to fucking tell you. Again, as a content creator, I see that shit, and it is legitimately so, so bad. That says a lot about what's going on. TikTok is literally only defense because they're also fucking on Hinge film everything everywhere, no matter how ridiculous. Speaking out. Unnest- it's insane that your actions have consequences. Um, do you want one of my CIA mods to fucking figure out because of your sentiment here that you think doxing is fine? Do you want one of my moderators to immediately clock what your fucking personal information is so that we can like subtly leak it to the entire public into this community at least? It's a much smaller community. And then have people call up, have people make fake accounts of you and start lying about what kind of a piece of shit you are. Have people call into your fucking place of work. You reveal a lot of yourself online. You think that like you're hidden under the guise of anonymity. Do you want me to do that for you? Do you think that that would be a valid punishment for me just feeling upset about your commentary? I mean, that could happen at any time. That doesn't justify it being a, a, a reasonable thing, you fucking jackass, you absolute coward. Remember, you're a fucking coward. That's why you substituted a way to go, oh, it can happen at any time. That's not the conversation that we're having. The conversation that we're having is whether you think it's appropriate or not. And you, cowardly, fucking said it's insane that your actions have consequences to two gr- random two random girls being doxxed their boyfriend being doxxed and then you fucking turn around and immediately substitute it to oh, it could happen anytime yeah no shit and it happening anytime is a genuine problem so why cowardly by putting it out there here cowardly by putting it out here with your tag what do you mean what are you saying the fuck do you mean Typical XQC fan, by the way. Jesus Christ. Holy fuck. That he isn't a coward because he's talking in chat? That's insane. You think you're brave for fucking talking under the guise of anonymity? Give me your address right now. Don't do that, actually. Do not fucking dox yourself, dumbass. I know some of you dumb bitches will do that. I mean, dude, they already have figured out you're a fucking Warhammer player. You're like, don't, don't, stop, stop, stop digging, stop digging, stop digging, stop digging, stop digging. Stop digging. Stop. Stop. Mods, ban the people that are fucking digging uh, their, uh, into this shit. Because a lot of people literally cannot stop themselves when I'm trying to make a fucking point. Okay? The point is that that action is bad. That is fucked up. You're an insane person for doing that. Necessary. These people seem like they're just normal people. Why are we going so deep into their lives? We know nothing about this. I know it seems like I'm only defending the bully girls and not the main girl. And this is really only because the internet has come out so hard against them. I think in the actual situation, yeah, you know, they were being pretty rude. But I'm really just trying to find a way for us to make this situation a little more human and feel a little more grounded in reality rather than having millions of people weigh in on this drama that comes from a TikTok that someone edited of themselves at a baseball game with very little context to anything. And the fact that neither of these girls even work at this realty company and now it's just fucked is a result of random people online trying to add fake shit to the story to just stir up drama. The real awful people in this situation are people who are going out of their way to try to hurt other people and make their lives noticeably worse. You can make a mistake and come and apologize in person and everything can be okay, but when you're online and you take a step too far, there's nothing you can really do to hold back from that. There are random people now that are suffering. I'm a Zoomer. Nick's the first person I've heard describe photobombing as bullying. It's an extremely online TikTok exclusive Zoomer shit like Battle Pass tier 100 Zoomer brain rot. I'm terrified of upcoming generation alpha though. They think like this. Bitch, you're a Zoomer. You think like this too It's in some respects, but you're right. It's going to get even worse. I'm the only one who's right. Remember that. ...as a result of 
misleaded anger and frustration. But before we wrap this up, let's check out Jackie's response and see what she says. Um, it's Jackie here, and I just wanted to start off by saying thank you so much to those who have been so kind and supportive over the past few days. I would have never thought that my brother taking pictures of me at, at a game for three minutes would turn into all of this. So immediately we hear from her. Okay, I, I just want to watch this. Um, it's Jackie here, and I just wanted to start off by saying thank you so much to those who have. Thank you so much for bullying and doxing these people. Been so kind and supportive over the past few days. Um, I would have never thought that my brother taking pictures of me at, at a game for three minutes would turn into all of this. After posting my video, I've received several responses of people being able to relate to the same thing that happened to me that evening. And it's become clear that bullying doesn't just stop in childhood or teenage years, but it can follow you into adulthood. And that's a little concerning. It usually gets swept under the rug. Even though my feelings were hurt that night, I don't, there was no, need for more hurt. Um, Lisa Deli, Alondra and their families do not deserve hurt. I do not condone the threats. I don't condone the bullying. I don't condone the harassment to them or anyone else. Yesterday, we met under mediated circumstances in a completely voluntary meeting in order to express and reflect upon this experience and our actions that evening and moving forward. They, they both gave me an in-person apology. And honestly, that's all I wanted. It, it's all I was waiting for really. Um, and I forgive them and I really appreciate them for apologizing to me in person. I hope that this experience just makes us more aware about each other's feelings and Bro, she did it yet. Yeah, Treaty of Versailles, dude. What the fuck? Yo, for real. God damn. This is half of this is literally about all the wrong that they did. Bro, this will make the TikTokers feel justified. Yeah. Oh God. Everything is so bad. Apologizing to me in person. I hope that this experience just makes us more aware about each other's feelings and Yeah. Yeah. You know, I hope this makes us more aware about each other's feelings and like uh, that you can get doxxed at any moment, bitch. If you fucking come after me and my audience, hey, you'll fucking end up on Twitter and they'll dox you. So sucks to suck. Hey, guys, let's. But to be fair, she did say. Makes us more empathetic towards one another. Thank you again for listening to me. I mean, look, obviously as it goes do not fucking go after this content creator and like follow them uh and and harass them it's but again this is not like a tiny person this is a person that has 553 thousand followers this video got 50 million uh views man like all of her tiktoks are getting like fucking 3.7 4 million like you know what i mean she's popping she's popping on fucking tiktok wait she had 50k followers before this Whoa, okay i take it back you should always do this no never mind it's the most profitable thing you can do she got 50 from 50 to 550 in like a week dude yo if you think anything that we just watched here is normal please seek medical help immediately okay Seek medical help immediately. Find God. Go to a fucking TikTokers Anonymous meeting. I'm not going to lie to you. Shit is fucked up, boys, girls, MBs. This is... Ooh, we are in a bad, bad situation. And the irony is... TikTok is like one of those places where like, you know, the kids control it basically you know what i mean it's like a madhouse and you know they got monkeys on dials at the fucking tiktok headquarters they just basically are running this ai uh you know algorithm on autopilot and it is breaking people's brains and i think a lot of normal people 
kind of just like go on TikTok and scroll and, you know, look at some ASMR videos or, you know, some funny shit now and then. Whenever I go on my TikTok, there's like a couple jokes and the mostly food. Okay. And I'm letting you know. Letting you know that like there are people out there like this is happening out there and we are not even aware of it. <laughs> Think about the increase in GDP this controversy created. Why can't we just have fun? Doy and bullet trains and cute animal content. Why we get TikTok? I get a lot of women who secretly want to show me their nipples. Nodders. I will never forget when Philly D said his multi-billion view TikTok account has zero connections to even a low-level content to TikTok Unreal. Oh, yeah. No one does. It's crazy. I'm, I'm confused. So the girls in person apologize at the game and she posted the video? No. They had, like a, a, like, a mediator come together and, like, have the girls apologize to the TikTok creator. Because the bigger the number, the better the person. The more you have, uh, you know, people on your side. And, uh, wow. Perspective that her brother, not her husband, was taking pictures. And it was for three minutes, not five to ten minutes. It's become clear that bullying doesn't just stop in childhood or teenage years. But it can follow you into adulthood. I do not condone the threats. I don't condone the bullying. I don't condone... The, the top of the hour ad break, which you can avoid for $5 or for free with the Twitch Prime. You know what I mean? I don't condone it, but it happens regardless. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's up with the long stream content day? Um, I am, uh, I have travel coming up. And this past month, I didn't hit my hours almost. I mean, I ended up hitting them, but I almost didn't. And uh, I'm worried. I need to juice it as much as I can. Why are you complaining about it? I meant to them or anyone else. Yesterday, we met under mediated circumstances. They both gave me an in-person apology. And honestly, that's all I wanted. It Is the theme of this story just always be nice because you never know who's famous? Yeah, or whoever has a camera on you and can fucking put you on their insane... You know, TikTok, and you will become all I was a villain. Waiting for really, um, and I forgive them, and I really appreciate them for apologizing to me in person. So, in a summary, Jackie did a pretty good job here, um, saying that she doesn't condone no, she the didn't. harassment towards those girls, while also talking about how we need to take bullying more seriously moving forward, and how it doesn't just stop once you become an adult. She also talks about how these girls came up and met with her in person and made things right, and I do feel like that's a good. No, I'm losing my mind. I feel like I'm losing my mind. I feel like we're looking at the, a very different situation at hand. Ending to this situation that should have never gotten this big. It should have just... This is just Kiwi Farm shit from another angle? No, because Kiwi Farms is, like, worse, obviously. Kiwi Farms, like, goes after and, like, deliberately picks, like, trans people to do this shit to. And it's significantly worse. Um, this is, like... I mean, this has, like, uh, weirdly larger consequences, though, because, like, most people basically understand that you're in the wrong... Like, those guys are fucking shitheads in the wrong. But a lot of people seemingly don't understand that they are behaving in, the, in a similar capacity. Ended there. Jackie didn't deserve all of this attention being drawn towards her because, of course, she got negative attention from it also by posting the video. And the girl yeah, this is scaled so much more than Kiwi Farms, even if the individuals are, aren't as unhinged as Those them, who yeah. made fun of her who were bullies, of course, realized that what they did was not nice, and they apologized to her. And now um, we hopefully can move forward from this, but knowing TikTok, it just is going to get worse because it always does. I think anyone who cares this much about this situation needs to take a step back and realize what else is going on. You didn't say she apologized to them and the TikTok causing the hate is still up. Lamar. Yeah. in the world because we should not be putting our energy towards uh, beef that we don't have anything to do with. We shouldn't weigh in on the lives of other people who we know nothing about. So I hope that wraps everything up nice and well with a big bow. I'm not trying to, again, get in any trouble here by defending those girls, but come on, let's think about it a little more and uh, take a step back and try to go about these things in the right way. Let's not try to ruin people's lives, guys. 
let's be normal human people, okay? Thank you for watching. I'm sorry about the uh, infrequency of the uploads, but when I get back and for the rest of this tour, I'm going to try to keep up with it. So remember, email me if you have any stories you want me to cover. Um, comment on my latest Instagram post if you want to win a PS5. I'm not going to give you one, but if you want to win one, I'm just saying you can do that if you want. I'm sorry, Jackie's saying all she wanted was an apology. Like, dog, they were right there. You really could have said something right then. You gremlin and said you got this large Turkish man making me aware of this drama. I just want to be happy again. Yeah. Me too. But honestly, you'd understand why his narrative was like this. Uh, if you saw the tweet, replies getting 20k likes, justifying the harassment. Yeah, those people should be fucking institutionalized, okay? If I... Nick held hostage after seeing their doxing power, I sort of see it. Yeah, if I had any say in how society was designed, I would literally put them in re-education camps. Anyone that says some unhinged shit like that under the, under the guise of anonymity deserves to be put in a fucking re-education camp immediately. And it's not even for the betterment of society... It's literally, I mean, it will have a, a positive effect on society, but it would literally have a positive effect on them too. I would 1 million percent re-educate them. Straight up. It's like, there's no other way to solve this issue, uh, honestly, in my opinion.